Okay, here's another vinyl wrapping video. Today, we're gonna be doing the bumper. The rear 2016 2500 bumper on my 07 1500. Uh, on my other channel, when I had first put this bumper on, a lot of you asked questions about it, wanted to know about it, uh, and a lot of you also said some obvious things. So this bumper came off at the 20 of 2500 or 2016 2500. And because of that, I had to modify the brackets, me and my old man, my old man helped me out, but we had to modify the brackets on it and basically flip them upside down, which I'll show you here in a second. And all, a lot of people were like, why don't you just get a 1500? Sometimes you can't find a 1500 2016 and up bumper to fit your 07 to 13 Silverado. It just so happens that I found the 2016, I measured it and it was really close. But yes, if you find a 1500 2016 sidestep bumper, it should fit your 1500. But if you can only find the 2500 bumpers, they will also fit with a little bit of cutting. So let me show you. Okay, so I flipped it around and what we did when we made this fit was we took the bracket that actually bolted to the bumper from my old bumper, which was all trashed, and we took it off, cut it out, and just bolted it to the 2500 bumper. And with a little bit of washers and some holes for some new bolts, it bolted right up, slid right in. The only other thing I had to modify really was this lip on the 2500s is about this much taller. So I just had to shave it down and voila, 2500 bumper on a 1500. So if you can't find it, if you can't find a 1500 bumper with a little steps, the 2500 will work. So what I have to do now is basically take apart this entire bumper oh, to be able to wrap the chrome. I could probably wrap it on the bumper and just do a nice clean cut around it, but then there's a more chance of it peeling off. I'm just gonna take the bumper all apart so I can wrap the wrap around the chrome and it's gonna be nice. Well, this kind of sucks. I measured incorrectly. I bought this huge sheet. <clears throat> I thought it was five foot by 12, but I guess it's five foot by seven. And I need like eight feet to go all the way across. So the solution I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put some of this knifeless tape right down the middle of the bumper right here. That way when I do two four foot sections, I could just peel a nice clean line through them. The only downside in that is that it is a potential spot that, you know, I just have to remember when I'm washing it and pressure washing it, not to hit the seam right here in the middle. But that's, it's a potential spot of the wrap being blasted. But, I'm gonna be okay with it. Because it's actually gonna make a 
wrapping a little bit easier instead of having to do the entire eight feet now i'm only going to have to do two four foot sections it is what it is Here we go, end result. No more chrome bumpers. Not gonna wash it. I hope you all enjoyed the video on my vinyl wrap for the front and rear bumper. I'm pleased with it. I hope you're pleased with the video. Hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share. I'll see you in the next one. I think the next one's going to have a little bit of the blazer again.